Most cutters, however, they all bring a lot of the same ailments along, muscle shortening. So when Bruce came, he had some neck issues, and he had some other things that he may want to divulge or talk about, but he didn't have good range of motion. And I kind of understood that, but now that I'm trying to peek over there and look at that calf, then I really understand how spinal movement and functionality plays a big role in riding the horses. Most cutters' shoulders are protracted. They are, they are pulled in. The spine is lengthened, the shoulder blades are raised up. And his range of motion, he'd already had some medical things about his neck, so we had to be, you have to be careful about that, but his range of motion to look was not that great. So that's where we addressed it. We started with his balance, we started with his stabilization, we started with his core and his basic range of motion. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna step into a, a, a good warm up that any cutter can use at home before you even go down to the barn. 90% of this stuff doesn't require anything but tenacity and dedication. And this thing, this is the best thing that anybody can get. This is what we call a foam roller. The technical name for it is self myofascial release. And it basically, it's basically a self massage. So when you see, when John Mitchell comes to me, this is what he gets right here. And he gets a lot of it. He don't get a lot of weight training. He don't need any. But what he needs to be is retracted. He needs to get those shoulder blades back. He's not on that horse. He got to get them back and down. And our head gets forward because we're looking. Well, most people's heads weigh about 8 to 10 pounds. So can you imagine what that does to your cervical spine with that head out there bobbing 8 to 10 pounds all day long? Or you run over there and, uh, hit that stop, that head slings forward. Those are the things that we address to give you a lot better functionality and hopefully a lot of longevity in doing what you love to do. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to start with the foam rolling. I always like to have them sit facing me, and we're going to roll that upper back because I've been like this all morning, stopping, stopping, stopping. So I want to try to get that to open up for me. Just that alone is really big. We roll out that thoracic spine. He's got those shoulders opened up trying to lay that spine out. They don't like it when they start, but they love it once they've been doing it a month or two. We recommend them that they take them home. I also recommend that you, instead of running down to the barn trying to get on that horse, I recommend that you take a little time for yourself and kind of get prepped. That's what you do with the horse. Good. So from there we go to the hips. So we're just going to get up on one hip just like that. We're going to take that top leg right here and cross it up. This leg, yep, fold it up, oh yeah. Just like that in itself is a pretty good feat for most people because the hips are so tight, the range of motion is so limited. So he's gonna roll right there on the top of that hip and I think actually, I think I did this with you guys yeah. also. But I see how the horses are taken care of and we need, to, we need to learn to do for ourselves what we do for them. Take that leg down and we're gonna roll, so you're gonna step across for me and we're gonna roll that IT band all the way down, we're gonna roll that middle thigh just oh, like yeah, that this and this one is super intense this one's gets super intense because I'm, I'm always adducting but my abductors are just getting longer and longer because if something is tight something has to be loose because muscles are just a system of levees and pulleys there's nothing nothing replaces water muscle has a high makeup of water component and Muscles are extensible, meaning they move. And if I'm dehydrated, I don't have that much movement. And I know for a fact when you're riding horses, a little bit can be a lot. If you need to get over somewhere and get there, then it could be just a little bit. But if you can't get it, then it's, it's limiting. You know, those hips was tight. Those hips just... was tight when he was rolling out. So now we're just going to open those up. They've been like this all morning. Mm -hmm. So you should probably work opposite of that. Okay, this is probably the most important thing I'm going to tell you all day right here. Phone roll my back. You know your back is hurting. You've been in the barn all day. You ain't got no water down there. You're thirsty. You're dehydrated. So you want to get up and you want to roll that out because those muscles are bound. But the more I roll them, the more I roll them, the more they slip. In this movement, you want to engage your glutes. You want to engage your core. You want to drive all the way up until you have a straight line. I'm bringing those hips away from themselves. So I'm just going to be on the line, down and back. Bring it back. 
ซิ่งเลขข่าวเสร็จแล้วข่าวเสร็จแล้ว